presented by, yeah, okay. Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented to you by the New Palace Lanes, here on Daniel Street in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Matala. And today on this episode of King of the Palace, Steve Pizant climbs that ladder again against the number three seed, Billy Bloom. We'll see if Steve Pizant can actually make his way past Billy to climb another rung to retaining his title as King of the Palace. I believe, David, that we're going to see some real good, strong action. Steve Pizant obviously wants to defend his championship. Hopefully we get some good marksmanship and some great scoring. Okay, Steve Poisson, reigning king of the palace. First ball delivery. Heading quarter shot, leaves the 5-7 with some wood. Oh, 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 yes! Yes, it did fall! There goes the five. It did fall. That two-pound, eight-ounce pin fell down with a little backlash from a, a piece of dead wood coming from behind. Here he goes, going after the seven pin for a spare. Opens up with a spare box. The seven pin left by itself in the corner or the ten in Canopin Bowling, better known as the corner of the building shot, and he made it with the help of some wood. It's a great momentum builder. Here he is up on alley four for the fill. Once eight, nine, and ten. Oh, missed the head pit, but he got an eight fill, David. One seven with some wood. He he was pleased with that result. He knew he missed his object. I think he's gonna drill. No, I, I either way. Either you, way, you yeah. go to the left hand of the pin, you try to kick that dead wood open to the seven, or you go to the right of it and drive everything back. Oh. He just missed the head pin. Yeah, he missed his object. He, he, he knew he had to get the 10. Excuse me, he knew he had to get the head pin dead on. Okay, gonna go after the, the head pin for 10 fill. And he got the 10 box. Okay. Billy Bloom up on alley three for his first time in the tournament. Yep, it's his first appearance in the King of the Palace, and we welcome him. The uh, pretty impressive three string qualifier. Pulls out of Pilgrim Lanes up in Haverhill, bowling in leagues for 18 years. Favorite shot is the 1-5, and he opens up. Ooh. Throws it off to the right a little bit. He's left an ugly, ugly six-pin spear lead. He's got to attack the one in the two-pin, see what happens. Ooh. One thing I did not know about, and I learned this after the fact about Billy Bloom, is he's affiliated with Kellerpin Bowling with the kids on Nesson. Oh, I know that. I've caught the show quite a few times. It's pretty good. You know, a lot of great up-and-coming kids throwing the ball down. You know, um, they're doing a pretty good thing. Very, very nice thing to do to encourage people for the sport of King and Bowling David anywhere, any place, any house. Absolutely right. Seeing the youngsters go out there and on, on their show on Nesson is throwing down and, you know, Billy, Billy opened game. up with a disappointing six box, filled it with a beautiful second ball. He's left the four and the six. Sec he's left in both and we call this the horns leave, and he's missed it. The four and the six, David, are called the horns leave. Very, very difficult spear leave. He banged the head pin. He thought he had a nice nice ball. So is it like the horns on a bull, a horn on a devil, no or what? All I know is that's what they call it. Okay, we're going to the third. <laughs> What, I throw you off on that one or what? I How am I supposed to know where it came from? I don't know. You didn't see, you're the man with the knowledge. All I can tell you is it's been researched. That's all. Okay, he's, looked, he's struck five. Apparently that five. research is a fail. It did not say where. Okay. He's on <laughs> alley three. He's got five pins up for a spear. He's got to get the head pin. He found it. Nice yes, pick he did. up. He happy with that That's one. why he's the champ. That's right. The champ made that one. Difficult, difficult spear. Going to put the pressure on Billy Bloom. Okay, he's up on alley four. He wants a good fill box. Let's see what happens. The delivery. He's got the head pin. Oh, Full on the oh, oh, he got a break. Wait a minute. He got it. Maybe get some more. Yeah. He's left a nice two pin of David. He's left the, the two and the four on the left side. Right-handed bowler should drill right into it. And take Dead it out. Oh, the oh, wood helped him. He missed it. Yeah, he, he knows did. he missed it. He's smiling. He knows it, but the it's a gift. The bowling god smiled down on him just a little bit. David, the wonderful world of Canopin Bowling, he just never know what's going to happen. He missed his object, and what happened? He got the spare. Why? He's a Canopin Bowler. Absolutely. Billy Bloom going up. Oh, right, right. He's disappointed. Yes. Uh, he's looking to find it. He's a little bit disappointed. I think David maybe the maybe the nerves are a little bit, but he'll work it out. He's a veteran Canopin Bowler. Whoa. I know, he's looking up in the sky. Yeah, too. he's tough. It's a tough one. 
tough lead. All right, he's going to try to pick the three, and he'll left to get a nine box out of this. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got nice that up. up. Threw, the, threw the two pin over and took out the ten. Nice yeah. shot with no wood. Nice ten box. Maybe that's a momentum builder. He checked the slide. There's all can of pin bowlers too, David. They all check the slide, make sure there's no sticky spots. Okay, here he goes. He's a... He's a submariner kind of yeah, throw. Very unorthodox delivery, but David. It works. It works. No throw. Once Every, again. Everybody has their own style That's of delivery. Right. Everybody throws the ball differently. Here he goes. Oh, disappointing. Yeah, he knows it. Yeah, he's left the 138. He knows he's a better bowler than that. Yeah, yeah he's, he's thinking about it. Definitely he, frustrating. He wants to get out of this with a 10. Oh, boy. Well, that was a He throws that ball. ball hard, too. Okay, after four, David. Well, after four, it's 56 to Billy Bloom's 34. Yeah, the champ is putting the pressure on. That's he's why he's there, the champ. He's been there before. He's filled it with. He's filled it with seven. He's left the one, the three, the six. Better known in Candle Pin Bowl, people up there is known as the Queen's Leaf. Uh, you should just leave that one alone. Oh. Thought he had it, but maybe he just didn't cut it shut. Sharp enough to take out that six, and he's going to roll it for a 10. Yes. Yeah, he's shaking his head. I uh, understand. I've been there. I've done it. You've done it. Travis has done it. Who knows? Uh, I don't know if Travis has done it or not. Oh, that's it. The exact our outstanding producer director has done it, trust me. Okay, head pin hit. He needs a little bit lights to the left side. He's left the f Looks like the, what is it, David? The three, five, ten? I don't know. What yeah, do you think about the right. wood? Three, five, ten. Um, you know what? Ugly wood. Go as far as you can over. Ooh, almost went around. He was afraid of that wood, and yeah. you know what? He probably had every right to. He was looking, yeah. look at that. Right around the 10 pin. You know, Unbelievable. David, I've traveled zeros in so fantastic with these replay shots, and it really is remarkable camera work. It showed exactly how the piece of dead wood went up and around the 10. Why yeah, did he miss it? I have no idea, but you know what? I bet you those bowlers wish they had that vision. And once again, Travis with his excellent, excellent positioning of the camera to show the people it's an excellent way of teaching candle pin bowling. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's shaking his head. Billy Bloom, very disappointed. Found the head pin, one three pocket, and what does he leave? An ugly five pin split. Yeah, you kind of want, he's probably kind of wondering. And what have I got to do? Yeah, exactly. What do I got to do to get a, a spear shot? And I don't know, he's, he's shaking oh, his he head. Don't. But he's gonna come back, David. I got nice nice pick 10. up. Nice ten. He's gonna come back. Billy, know him, Billy Boom, like yep. I know him. Veteran Candleton Bowler out of the Pilgrim Lanes up in Haverhill. He's gonna come back. Yeah, you know he mentors kids, and you know what he's doing yep. is a good thing. And I'm pretty sure he's kind of wondering, oh, hey, you know what? He's hey, I made the, you know, I made the king of the palace, and Ooh. I want to show my mad skills and. You know, he's throwing the ball where he wants to. He's just not getting the breaks that everybody else would. Children from, I've seen children as young as two years old here at the Palace with their family. Three years old with their grandmothers. Yeah, and some, and some of them. It's candle pin bowling. There's nothing wrong with candle pin bowling. It's a lot of fun. It's a great exercise. Best bang for your buck. I know it. I've said it a hundred times. I'll say it a hundred times again. It's one way to reconnect with your family. It's cheaper than any kind of movie theater. You know, sit down with your family. Enjoy it. After six. Steve is on 83, Billy Bloom 51. Steve's working on a 32 pin lead. He just wants to bury Billy. The reigning champion has really thrown a nice ball. But this one a little bit weak to the left. He's left the 1 3 7, no, 1 3 8 9. No, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, it's a little bit of an ugly shot. Going to be tough. Whoa. Yeah, he's now, you know, laughing. Saying, how did he take out the, the head pin in, with the 8 and the 9 and leave the 3? Because he missed it. Well, it should, in my opinion, it should have ricocheted into the three, but it's candle knows? pin bowling. It's candle pin bowling. I know. How does it happen? Okay, he's up on alley four. He's shaking his head. I know. I know what he's thinking. How can he take three pins out and leave up the three? But here he goes. He's the champ. He's, he's ready to go. Well, I know what he's thinking. I probably shouldn't have had that cheeseburger before oh. the match. <laughs> <laughs> now he's drilled the head pin. He's drilled the one-two pocket. He's left an ugly four pin. <laughs> What is cheeseburger got to do with can open bowl? That, that's probably what he's thinking. Oh, could be. I don't know what you know. Mean. What am I thinking? What's the, you know? Oh, nice. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Short pinned. Hit it right, but just had no luck. 
foul. He's got to shoot the four pin for it. David, that appears like it's off center a little bit. It, it looked like it rolled. Reset itself in another spot. Oh, probably. It can happen. Yeah, it does. We've seen it. We've seen pins spin and stand up. A four pin becomes the five pin. Yeah, it's like a little marionette. Yeah. You just don't know. The top spinning on a, on a plane surface. Okay, Billy Bloom up. He's trying to find it, David. He's taken a couple of deep breaths. Yeah. Uh, he's disappointed. I'm rooting for him. I want to see him do come, something. Come on, Billy. Oh, just missed the head pin again. Right again. Uh, he's trying different spots on his approach. You're just trying to, it takes a while to adjust. You know, he's never bowled in this house yeah. before, so it takes a while to, at any house to adjust. He's left the 110 here for, for 10 bucks. And, uh, he made it this far, so people, I'm telling yeah, you, he, he is a good bowler. He could turn it on with five spears in a row, no, no doubt. Now he slammed the head pin for nine bucks. Okay. He's going up there to Elton Four. Let's see what happens. Well, let's see if he can, you know, head and quarter and let's make some noise. There's the approach. Oh, head and quarter. Oh, my goodness. Nine what? times out of ten, when somebody throws a head and quarter shot, if they're going to watch one six. They'll sit there and they'll pump their arm, and nine times out of ten, that Look strike doesn't go. How did he leave that lead? That's an ugly lead. He left the two, four, five, ten. I believe Unbelievable. I, I, I have no words to explain no. it. Oh, I'd be disappointed too. Yeah, I would be very frustrated. Nine. 33 Six. pin lead for Steve, 102 to 69. Well, he's up on the box. Excuse me, Alley 3, box 9, better known in bowling as the camera pin. Foundation box, found the head pin. Hammer. There's the hammer. Drilled it, obliterated everything. Everything just He exploded. is just putting the screws to Billy Bloom. David, in the first round, I think he had, what, four strikes? I think as we recapulated, yep. A double! No, oh! Now here it is again in Candlepin Bowling. He threw a strike in Alley 3. It appeared that he threw the same exact ball or close to it. On Alley 4, what happens? He leaves an ugly four pin split. Apparently it wasn't the same ball. Explain to me, how does it happen? Oh! oh. The seven pin standing. Yeah, thought he had it. That would have been, been a That would have been a heck of a shot. He's going to try to shoot the seven pin for the ten box he made it. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice 10 bucks, okay. Oh, Billy Bloom? Billy you know, his Bloom. high single's at 174, so you know this kid can bowl. Yeah, he's gonna try to come out of this with a spare strike, strike, spare, get some momentum for the second, for the second string. 10 pin, he found it, okay. Wow, he's all over the head, right, he's just good. not getting any luck. Well, now he's got something to shoot at. He's got a two pinner on the right side. He's got the three and the six. He's got some wood. Let, let's hope that piece of dead wood in the back. Well, he's got to drill it. There it is. It there, there, there no doubt about it. Ball over he it. Put his hands up in the air and yeah. saying it's about time. Oh. All right. Now he wants the big fill, and he wants something to shoot at. He wants to build on some momentum. Right. He wants the eight, nine, the ten. The delivery goes down. Ooh. Oh, wide right. He's left. Oh, he's left. He's left the one, two, six, ten wood down there, two pieces of wood. Looks like he's gonna have to drill the head pin or split the one, two. I'd split him. Oh, oh a little just, bit to the just left. Missed it. Well now he's got three pins up there with a space in between. Play the two on the right for the ten, the nine yep, box. I would. The safe nine box, yeah. Some bowls will go after the head pin and make it ten bucks. Okay, what do we got? Steve Pazant 131 to Billy Bloom's 94. Steve with a 37 pin lead. This match also scratch. Yeah, no handicap involved. Start of string number two. Up uh, first, Billy Bloom. He's got to make some a lot of noise to catch up to Steve. Head pin. He found it. Come there on, he goes. Ball over. Good, good start for Billy Bloom. He's left the seven pin by itself. He's going to shoot right at it. I don't think he's going to use the wood. He's looking at it. Oh, what did that appear from? I dismissed it. Well, wait, that wood's rolling back. Now in our house, uh, there goes our there goes our pin boy. In Candle Pin Bowling, people out there in viewing land, there is a black line, 22 inches in front of the head pin. If any wood extends over that, the pin must be removed. The dead wood. Yes, all nice over pick it. Up. Way to start. Excellent, excellent, excellent way to start the second string. Great confidence builder. Once again, I got to acknowledge the great, great camera ability of our executive producer, our outstanding executive producer, Travis Fox, replay machine, picking that up. All right, on head pin. Yes, there it is. 
David, he's come back. Strike he ended hammer. the first strip string with a spear, opened up the second with a spear, and filled the second block with a hammer. I'm kind of wondering if Billy Bloom was paying possum a little bit. I don't know. Okay, Steve Pasana, head pin, and he's left an ugly two pin split. The oh. two and the six has got wood. Yeah, this wood may be. May help. Well. It might now with that other piece of wood in the back. He's got to hit that to the left. Well, two on the left hand side. The eyes. He's concentrating. Oh, oh, right through it. I think he had to make contact yep. with the two. Yeah. Adam Vinatieri did. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Got to try to get out of this with a nine box. And he did. Oh, maybe nope. Nope. Didn't roll over and catch the two. Nine box with Steve Passant going up. Now on to Aldi number four. Trying to find that concentration. He threw a good first ball there, but got a lousy split. Yeah, let's see if he can't dial it in. Let's see what happens. He found it for the hammer. No doubt about it once again, David. They, ju they just exploded. Well, the five pin was the last one to fall. Once again, explanation point. Through the first ball, the first box, left two pin split. Appeared to throw the same ball in the second box and blew them all out. Okay, Billy blew them up. Alvy won two marks in a row. Well, nice nine. Wait a box. minute. Maybe catch the seven. Ooh, nice, nice setup for the seven. Okay, he's got the seven pin up by itself. Once again, known in Candle Pin Bowling as the corner of the building shot. All by itself. He made this David in the first box all by itself. He did? See if he did. And yes. he did. That, what, that time he That's went to the right row for him. He's got three marks in a row, David, and Candle Pin Bowling. Any combination of spares and strikes, three in a row, is called an eagle. Ah. Uh -huh. Don't, no, excuse me, I take it back. Call the trick. Four in a row is called an eagle. And we well know in Candle Pin Bowling, three strikes in a row is called the trick. Oh, oh is he going oh, maybe, for four in a row? Maybe. He's going to get four in a row, hopefully. Then he'll have the eagle. Well, we'll see. This one is not very favorable for him right now. Oh, I know. This is going to be a tough shot. You just don't know. And oh, he picks it, it up. There's He's your turkey. It. No, there's our eagle. Four spares in a row are a strike. Any combination of marks, four in a row, and can't open bowling is called the eagle. And that's our first one we've had on the show, David. Oh, and Travis. Has. Travis could correct us, but I think that's what it is on me. Oh! Found the head pin, drove into it, left an ugly three pin. Well, we're gonna see oh. what we're gonna see what Steve's made out of. Because I'm telling you what, I think Billy Bloom actually is starting to make up a lot of pins. Well, David, he's shooting three pins on the left, one on the right. Tough, tough spear shot. Now, David. Waiting for this wood to settle down. Yeah, no, he missed it. No, he missed Wide left. Eye. In candle pin bowling. I've unearthed another statistic. There are 1,022 possible spear combinations after you've thrown your first ball. He's got Do you stay up late night thinking of this? No, stuff? this one, I'll be honest with you, I picked it up from a bowler who will be appearing later on. Jimmy Nest, a very outstanding gentleman, explained to me some of the fundamentals of bowling terminology. Oh! The hammer! That was a, a Julian, the five pin, the last one to fall. I would consider this to be slow motion, but it did fall. It well, went down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't that is slow motion, but actually, that was in real motion how that pin fell. He's come back <laughs> with a strike. He's challenging Steve. That's going to be Billy Bloom's four in a row. Is he going for five? Ooh. Maybe. Now. This is an ugly lead. But if Billy Bloom picks up this nine and the ten for a spare, gets five marks in a row. That's five marks in a row in Cano Pin Bowling, David. It's called the five star badge. Well, guess what? No five-star badge. No, nope. never. He'll have to settle with his eagle. Very, very difficult to get five Ooh. marks in a row. Nice half. Nice half. Very nice half. Okay. He's going to go up to alley four, over six marks. He's found it, David. Four out of five boxes with marks. Excellent, excellent candle pin hold. Yeah, he, um, he was real struggling in the beginning in the first match, but he's actually stepped up the pace yeah. now. I, 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 Pierce said he's found it. Oh, right, right, dropped it. Funny thing about candle pin bowling is, is you can find it, and then Move. just as soon as you find it, you lose it. It's so, candle pin bowling. That's what yeah. it is. He's got to go after the head pin here. That's why there's never been a perfect 300. Yes! Nice yeah, nice shot. shot. That was a beautiful shot. Oh, my goodness. Eight pin, the last one to go. That was beautiful. Beautiful five pin spare yeah, shot. He's very, very, very difficult. All right. Here we go. Here's the reigning he's, king of the palace champ. He's definitely telling Steve. Oh, 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 there it is. 
the dreaded spread eagle. How does that happen? He's shaking his head, looking up at the sky. I don't know what to tell you. Well, instead of calling it the dreaded spread eagle, you should just call it the dread eagle. Okay, we'll call it the dread eagle. Okay, fine. Now he just drills the three pin, he's hit the head pin, and he's got five pins down for two, bar two balls. Yeah, that's How does it happen? No. He gets an eight box. Yeah, he's he's I know. His head. He's shaking his head. He's I do it all the same time. Thing. How do you? Well, no. When you do it, you have a little dance. Uh, well, I, a little I, song, a little I, dance. I, I feel like I'm going to go jump in the National River because this is the only game I know. You throw your ball, you hit your off, and you get penalized for it. That wasn't a penalty. He, hit, he, he hit. only dropped four pins and he hit the head pin. He hit his object and threw the ball 60 feet. He threw a four and a half diameter ball that weighs 2.8 pounds and he got penalized. There's no other way to discuss it. Oh, nice this pick man, Nice comeback spare. There's he no got penalty. Rewarded. He just hit the head pin too perfect. I disagree. Okay, nice spare shot. It's kind of like when you're playing pool. If you hit the head, if you hit the cue ball straight onto the eight ball, it's just going to go rack back and forth. You got to put a little English on the ball. That's okay. all. Both bowlers marked in L. Excuse me, both bowlers marked in the sixth box. Billy Bloom is knocked down that 37 pin lead yep. down to 11. Now we're coming down the stretch. Now we got he he's got it in his sights. Oh, he cranked out. Oh, he had it. He found it. Oh, oh. look at this. Oh, see this my one more than goodness. Once. Twice. Twice on pocket hits. Steve Poisson did it. And Billy Bloom did. Both on the same alley. No explanation can be set Ooh, about right why it right through the middle. Now, once again, David, we're seeing the, the black curtain in the back. Explain to our viewing fans what it's there for, please. Yeah, it's a piece of thick rubber that actually stops the ball and the pins from going through the back of the alley. And, and hurting your equipment. Excuse me, hurting the bowling alley's equipment. Okay. I know he's disappointed with that. He deserved better. I feel for him. I've been there. You've been there, David. Travis has been there. It's it's just an like, unexplained. Oh, Ooh, my. There's that I'm just, I almost got through saying things are unexplainable. The half was the, I would have to truthfully say, when that happens, that's your fault. You have an injury. Ooh, that's just ugly. That's ugly. Oh, my goodness. How to come off five nice boxes and throw that. Just, oh. Oh, oh. you got to try to get out of it an eight. He got an eight. Nice. Salvaged an eight. He's disappointed. I know. He's walking to a seat. How does it happen? Yep, the defending champ on Alley 3. You know, thinking, man, i got to stop making some moves. He's cranking it He's up. getting a little too close to call. Oh, hit, hit, and he leaves an ugly, ugly that's four a, spin. That's the second time he hit that yeah. shot. And Look what he's left. Three in the left. One. How, how does three pins stay up on the left side of the alley with a pocket hit? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Well, well how did that happen? How did that pin stay up with we that started. piece of wood behind it? I don't know. I have no idea. It's can open bowling. That's why, once again, it's great family entertainment. Anywhere you go. Well, it's either great family entertainment or a good way to start drinking. No, our frustration is going. Okay, <laughs> here he comes. You can take here. out your frustrations after a hard day, yeah, whether it be at home or at work. He's cranking it up. Found the head pin. He's left three quarters of the bucket. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three quarters of it. What do we call three quarters of the bucket? Three quarters of the bucket. Crap. <laughs> Two, five, What do you eight. think, Travis? No, I'm just looking at our executive producer director, our outstanding man, Travis, and sometimes I ask him his opinions, too. Okay, he's left the five and the eight. It's like the Jay and Silent Bob movie. He just doesn't talk. Well, probably not. Can't during this. Oh, he could talk if he wanted to talk. Um, okay. Wide right. He knew it. He dropped it. He curtailed to the right. Or drifted right. Drifted. Drifted. Curtailed. That's right. Down. Drifted. 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 You just <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> he just like dropped it. Dropped it. Okay. He's very disappointed. He wanted to put some pressure on. Did not find the head pin. He's come out of it with a nine. He knows it. There was this chance to put some pressure on. It just didn't happen. Great to see. You know, Billy Bloom is, you know, new to the king of the palace. Yeah. So you know, coming all the way from.
Pilgrim Lane since you give us right, a shot. Was, I think the first time he showed up. Yeah, believe, very first yeah, time. He made the tournament round. No, he said he would do it again. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Found a head pin. Oh. One three quarter hit. He's left the 5, 7, 8, 10. Wood around. One pin missing for uh Absolutely stunning, stunning, ugly, ugly lead that he He's got a lot. He's got some wood down there. Wins, I think wins, uh, wins, he's got to go high, what they call on the top on the low. bottom. Low. Got a low on that dead wood. Spray and pray, baby. Oh, oh, oh. And the ball almost came over and took the seven. Almost. That would have been a nice ball. Almost. Nice try, Billy. Almost. Yeah, and he nailed it all over for the ten. He's disappointed. He wanted. Boy, when Billy's on, he's fun to watch. I'll tell you what. He if he didn't have he such bad play. breaks in the first string, this would be a lot tighter. Very, very disappointing. Okay, Steve Pazant, last two boxes. Got the nine. Got a nine, Phil. Left the six. For a spare. Well, let's see if he can't pick this up for the spare. And he nailed it. Nice spare shot. Nice job. Okay, he's going up in the alley. Alley four. Coming to try to throw his. Phil Bucks here. Let's see what happens. Nice to wind up the delivery. Found it. What a shot. Found it. Oh, look at this monstrosity. <laughs> How did he leave the three, the nine, the ten, and he's wipe out the whole left side with a nice, excellent first ball? Oh. Why? It's candle pinball one. He's got a piece of wood to help him out. And, and what? Now look at him. And even Steve Puzlant, reigning king of the palace champion, couldn't believe it. He's smiling. He got defeated. The pin defeated him, David. Yeah, it's but candle pin bowling. It How is does it what happen? It is. it is what it is. Very, very disappointing. But the match is over. The reigning King of the Palace champ has won by a score of 122 to Billy Bloom's 137. Billy Bloom actually took the second string, but Steve Poisson had that commanding lead in the first string, and he ends up winning by 22 pins. Steve Poisson, five strikes, three spears. Billy Bloom, only one spear. And, excuse me, one strike and five spears. A lot of tough breaks, David. A lot of tough breaks on the first ball. Well, I'm telling you, if Billy Bloom would have did what he did in the second string, this would have been a lot closer match. I'm pretty proud of Billy. Glad he showed up. And I can't wait to see him again on the next King well, of the Palace. Just saw Steve Poisson defeat Billy Bloom in his quest to keep his title as King of the Palace here at the New Palace Bowling Lanes in Fitchburg. It was a great match. Steve Pazant beat Billy Bloom by a score of 253 to 231. Now Steve Pazant, on his way to retaining his title, has to face the number two seed Anthony Karen next week on the King of the Palace. I'm expecting that Steve is well on his way to retaining his title and confident more than ever in doing so. Anthony Karen, veteran candlepin bowler, Knows how to bowl well. Hopefully, it's going to be a great match. I'm looking forward to it. See you all next week.